Let's try and the Pinot Rosé. Now, we're actually smack bang here in the middle of the Pinot Re well, sorry, the Rosé Revolution, which is a big push towards more and more savoury styles of Rosé. Um, and I think that it's wines like good Pinot Rosé, which are really sort of pushing that forward by showing that you can have texture and you can have um, a little bit more than just simple fruits in a Rosé. And is, something that, is that something you sort of look for in, in rosés as well? Absolutely. Look, this is the first year we've made a rosé. Oh, really? And yeah, 2000. Rosé is so hot was, right now. So hot. Yep. Um, and I, I made a lot of rosé in Europe and I loved making it. So I was really excited um, talking with the sales and marketing team when we decided, look, we're mm. going to make a rosé for this vintage. And we had some beautiful first year Pinot mm -hmm. fruit off, off our vineyard. Um, and this is the exact style that I wanted to make. Okay. Um, you know, drier, definitely more Provence in style, but with texture, crunchy red fruit, acidity. Um, it's, a, it's a great style. Yeah, and would you look to making a really crazy, freaky natural rosé? You know, something that's a little bit cloudy, a little bit out there, barrel ferments. Yeah. Do you think there's actually a market for that? that? Or maybe that's just me. I just like that sort of style of rosé. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, look, I reckon rosé is really getting bigger and bigger in Australia. As more and more people realise that, particularly in a, a warm Australian summer, that rosé is just the ultimate drinking wine. Oh, absolutely. You know, lunch in the sun. Lunch, yes, the calamari, deck, you know, seafood. Seafood, absolutely. Knock back a bottle of that. Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. So this being a first release, you haven't really, I mean, it's, it's really only just come out, so you haven't really seen how it's gone. But No, exactly. I mean... I've been last week um, in Melbourne and Adelaide yeah. and also in, in Queensland this week, Sydney. Oh, it's, Queenslanders, it's really they love cool. rosé. They love their rosé. They dig rosé. Might, not, might be a bit dry for the Queenslanders. Oh. Though, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Queenslanders, I don't mean that. <laughs> no, it's true. And actually, if anything in Australia is going to be best suited to rosé, it's going to be Queensland for sure. Uh, yeah, just definitely. super refreshing, just straight down. It's yeah, that's really, right. really very easy. Suits the climate. But no, there's been some good interest. We've had great interest in the wine and we've got a few listings now. Um, so, you know. We're looking now in Sydney to get a few more this week, so hopefully, yeah, we'll see if it, we'll see it moving. We'll see, yeah, we'll see if people get on the Rosé Revolution train. <laughs>